Okay, I'm going to take a video of the roof as kind of a tutorial on what happens to flat roof. They call them flat roof. They're not really flat. Uh, mobile home roofs when they're sealed or not sealed and why it makes a difference. So the roof trusses on these homes, as you can see, they're not really flat. They're kind of close to it, but they've got a dome in the center. And what happens is they're seamed together every few feet underneath this, you know, every, what is it, three feet, there's a seam here, there's a seam over there. And so every few feet they've got a seam. And this is about, uh, it's late 1970s, and so it's been, um, the seams are good for a lot of years, but eventually, um, eventually they need to be sealed and so what happens is they get sealed but then the sealing material Henry's or whatever brand it is tends to get brittle and I've ripped up a piece here to show you what happens and why you need to remove it so there's what the seam looks like and as long as this stays completely sealed the water will never make it into the roof but what happens is it doesn't stay sealed. Part of it is if people are up walking around on it, when the snow is on it, then it tends to flex the roof and breaks. So even if you were to paint over the top of some of these cracks that are developing here, you're still going to end up with cracks starting there. You're still going to end up with a situation where when somebody gets onto it in the winter time to shovel it, it's going to flex enough to break the crack. There's another crack, there's one right there. There's a prime crack right here. See, so if I was to paint over the top of this and just leave it there, it would be fine until somebody stepped on it and flexed it. And when they do that, it would break the seal. There's another one over here on the side of it. So you could you could seam over it and you'd be fine until winter, but as soon as somebody takes over that and causes the flexing, like you can see there, it will break through the thin top coat and start leaking again. So it's important to remove it if you find a situation like this where cracks are starting to develop then it's just it's several layers thick and it's not adhering down to the surface and so it's time to just remove that give it a good thorough cleaning for whatever instructions are on the new material you're going to put on and keep in mind some of these contain asbestos some of them don't and so you want to be careful about uh, getting in your lungs if you're concerned about those things. Anyhow, um, the trusses on this roof are 16 inches on center. I'm 220 pounds, and so when I'm walking around, I'm feeling for too much flex in the roof. And uh, this roof feels very solid, not perfect, but very solid overall. There's one spot back here and I think that this is what happens when mice get onto the roof. And here's the situation. This, this uh, roof that's sitting over there, the 2 by 4s in metal, was on top of this for like a snow roof. And so I think what happened is there was some mice that got into here and caused the corrosion that resulted in this small area here. Um, galvanized though it was, basically rotting. I've seen it exactly twice in about 25 years I've been doing this where it just disintegrates like this and both times it had a roof over the top of it and I think both times was probably from um, whatever's in the urine of the of the mice that was making a home or making a home on top of it. So that's why you want to keep keep mice and other vermin off the top of your roofs. 
So that's this, that's this home roof and it's fairly solid. It just needs to be resealed good and should last another 30 years. And the repair on this one is gonna be kind of like what we have over here. I didn't do this repair. I will not say that was a well done repair, but that's kind of what can be done to alleviate the issue and then you do a much better job sealing around this one. So, thank you very much for watching the video. Hopefully it provided some rudimentary education on uh, what these roofs are like and how they can be dealt with. Thanks, thanks again. Hope you have a wonderful day.